You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rasnak. The eagerly anticipated return of Virtuosi Concerts live in person takes place this weekend. Serpentine Paths features Robert Uchida and Raphael Hochman, plus a Virtuosi young artist, Miona Milovanovic, who has joined me now. Hello and welcome to Classic 107, Miona. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, it's a real pleasure to meet you. And uh, I just want to begin by chatting a little bit about where you're at in, in your career. You're currently a student at the, the Days Hotel Faculty of Music at the University of Manitoba. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm in my third year studying with Oleg Pokonovsky. So it's been a wild ride, but <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> well, I was going to say you're in your third year. Um, we're, we're in the second year of a, a, a pandemic, of course. Um, you know, you talk about it as a, a wild ride. What's it been like for you and the, the faculty thus far? Um, the first year I have sort of got to have like a what you would call a normal experience, you know, uh, pre-pandemic um, and then it got cut short so I never got to like fully finish it um, but after that all online uh, I took a lot of adjusting but you know now we're sort of easing back to in-person activities so it's been really nice. <laughs> well speaking of easing back into in-person activities um, you serve currently uh, correct me if I'm wrong as the concertmaster of the University of Manitoba Symphony Orchestra is, is that correct? Yeah that's right. Yeah. So is that one of those opportunities that, you know, was obviously missing for the past couple of years? How does it feel to be back making music with, with your colleagues again? Oh, it feels so good. We found a way to, you know, still be active and do certain things while we were online. We had master classes and we played for each other. Um, but be back, being back in person has been, you know, um, much more like it's better for our, you know, motivation and everything else. And just to make music in person has been such a treat. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, not not to put any uh, pressure on you. I'm sure you, you thrive under pressure, but you're actually going to be um, opening for a, a concert master. Uh, Robert Uchida is the concert master of the, the Edmonton Symphony. That's That's got to be pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to meet both of them as well. But it's such an honor to, you know, be able to open for them. Yeah. <laughs> and then what are you going to be performing is the big question. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing the um, Adagio from Bach's G minor sonata. Um, and it's uh, just the whole sonata, but just this movement in particular is a piece that I found kind of always going back to in the past couple of years when I needed something that, you know, I'm familiar with and that I just wanted to enjoy playing. Um, and it just felt very fitting to pick that as we're, you know, easing back into going <laughs> to in-person events again. It um, felt good to me to pick that piece and perform it. So I'm very excited. How do you think your interpretation of the Bach has has changed over time? I mean, you were talking about how it's a piece that you keep going back to. And I mean, it's a work that I'm sure you're going to go back to throughout your career. H how do you feel like it's changed your understanding of the work over the, the past couple of years? Yeah, so like you said, it's a piece like, especially for, you know, violinists, it's, you know, always going to be there and there's always work to be done. Uh, when I first started learning it, of course, it was all the technical things, you know, the tuning, getting all the chords right and everything. Um, but I felt throughout the years, I always come to it from like almost a different perspective and a different understanding. Um, so it almost feels like going from like a very sort of immature way of playing it as a young violinist to, you know, just growing with it over the years. Um, and to me now, it's almost like a sort of like a meditative mm. uh, state when I do play it. Uh, there's so many moments of, you know, high intensity and like very, um, like a lot of tension. Um, so yeah, um, I'm very excited to perform it. And yeah, hopefully we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, speaking of performances and, and opportunities for young artists like yourself to grow, this is exactly what the Virtuosi Young Artist Program is all about, right? Giving you the opportunity to perform in front of, front of an audience, which is just something we we all have had the opportunity to do in a real long time. Uh, but but beyond that, what does it mean to you to have the support of Virtuosi? It feels very good. I actually did audition for it when I was very young <laughs> and I I didn't get in. And that was sort of a lot like one of those moments where I was like, OK, I'm going to work hard and this is something um, that I should work towards, too. Um, so, yeah, getting that email, hearing that, you know, I you know, I'll get to play and open a concert this season. Um, yeah, I was just very, very happy and especially because it's in person. So. Um, yeah, it's a great opportunity, especially at a time like this. So yeah, it means it means a lot. 
well, I think it means a lot to the audience as well. And very excited that you're going to have an audience to perform in front of. And, um, you know, way to stick with it. Uh, like you say, you know, this is an opportunity. I'm sure there's going to be, you know, younger instrumentalists who are listening and thinking like, I, I want to do that too. And, and what would you say to them that, that, uh, that you know, you, you can hear no, right? But then keep going in your career. T tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so I was in that position <laughs> as well. Um, and I remember thinking that everything had to happen then and everything mm -hmm. ha has to happen right now. So what I've learned like throughout my years and as well as like at university is that, you know, some things do take time, like it doesn't happen um, for everyone right at the same time. So some people might take longer, some people, you know, it just works out right away. So it's just that patience is very important. And, you know, if you stick with it, it it will work out. So that's that's what I would say to them is that to wait and be patient. Well, Miona, so excited to see uh, what you do next. Uh, but more immediately, have a, a great show on Sunday. I'm sure it will be a wonderful performance. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me at Classic 107 today. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. And you can find more details on the upcoming Virtuosi Concert by visiting virtuosiconcerts.ca, their brand new shiny website, or classic107.com, and click on the events tab.